again everybody this is Ronnie Bowles with Bolt Electric in San Antonio Texas in today's video we're going to be retrofitting a 400 watt shoebox type parking lot light with the new DZ130 LED retrofit kit this new kit has a different mounting style so I figured I'd make a video to show everybody how to install it yeah so let's get started the first thing you're going to have to do is remove the ballast and capacitor in your existing light fixture. Let's take a close up look at all the components that we're going to be installing. First you have your LED driver which is a multi-volt driver. It can control anything from 100 volts to 277 volts and it converts it to low voltage to power the LED head. Next you have the flex mount adapter which is the new and improved mounting system that I keep talking about. This attaches from the LED head to the porcelain base by the means of a hose clamp. It's a lot sturdier than the old screw-in type. And you have your driver bracket which screws to the back of the fixture and you mount the driver right on top nice and easy. This is the new and improved DZ130. There's been improvements made to the fan and the heat sink which allow it to run cooler than the previous versions. Of course you know heat is a big enemy of LED. Inside of your package that you receive you're going to have all the screws that you need, the hose clamp and wire nuts along with a nut and washer. And you'll need a 7 16 closed in wrench. Okay, it looks like we're ready, so let's go ahead and get started installing the retrofit. First thing you do is you take your driver bracket, and using the same screw that we took out that was holding in the capacitor, screw your driver bracket into one of the pre-threaded holes in the back of the fixture. In the package you got, there's two Phillips head self-tapping screws. Go ahead and take those out and secure your driver to the top of the mounting bracket. One step that I forgot to mention earlier is before you get started, you're going to take the metal reflector out of the fixture and discard that. There's no need for the metal reflector with the LED retrofit. Off camera, I've gone ahead and attached my flex mount with the washer and nut that's provided to the LED head. So I'm going to go ahead and take my 7 16 wrench and tighten that down. On either side of the nut, there's two perforations in the flex mount bracket. So we're going to bend those so that they're going to wrap around the porcelain base. Also, there's slots on the side of the bracket that you can break off to adjust for the length of the LED. Now you take your hose clamp and you put it around the flex mount and around the porcelain base and tighten it up. Next I'm going to go ahead and take my red and black wire which is for the LED and I'm going to make them up to the red and black wire on the driver. Now we're going to go ahead and hook up the line voltage. In this case we're going to be hooking it up to 120 volts. It would be the same for 277 volts. You go ahead and take your white, which is your neutral, and make it up to the blue on the driver. And then you take your brown from the driver and make it up to the 120 volt hot lead. You should have a ground that goes to the casing of the fixture, a ground that goes to the driver, and a ground on your line voltage. Make all three of those together. And once you're done with everything else, as a very last step, we'll go ahead and take off the plastic cover. Of 
The very last thing I'm going to do is close the glass cover and turn on the power. If you have any questions at all, you can look us up online at boltelectricsa.com or give us a call at 210-545-BOLT. This is Ronnie with Bolt Electric, the San Antonio electricians you can trust, and thank you for watching. Thank you.